where equitable justice is denied, where democracy stands limping. That is the plight. That is the plight of affairs in Andhra Pradesh. You have a government in place where within 45 days of coming into power, you have a situation where more than 30 people have been murdered, where you have more than 300 people on whom you have assaults taken place, which led to attempt of murder, where you have more than 560 properties, private properties vandalized, where you have more than 490 government properties also vandalized, where you also have more than 1,000 cases, more than 1,000 cases where you have a situation of assaults taking place, private properties destroyed, people walking into the houses, destroying the properties within, where plantations have been destroyed. That is the plight of affairs in Andhra Pradesh. In fact, you have people like Chandra Babu Naidu's son, Nara Lokesh, displaying a red book, where he displaying a red book is actually captured in the form of hoardings and displayed all over the state. And the contents in, and the contents in this red book are a list of officials, a list of politicians on whom they intend to take action, on whom they intend to assault. And this kind of hoardings, starting off with Chandra Babu Naidu's son, blatantly being displayed all over the state in Andhra Pradesh, where you have a situation where you're, in, where you're giving instructions to the police that our people would vandalize, our people would kill, our people would assault, and there should be no action taken on them. When you have somebody like Nara Lokesh, Chandra Babu Naidu's sons, holding this red book, and this red book being captured in the form of hoardings. Now think about what kind of message it is sending. Now he starts off with a red book at the state level. You have a similar kind of red books being displayed and vengeance being taken at everybody from the grassroots level at the village level. Now this is the plight of affairs. Now I'd like to question one thing. Today they are in power, tomorrow we could come into power. Yes. Yesterday we were in power. But when we were in power, we have never propagated such kind of behavior. We have never encouraged people to take vengeance like this. We have never encouraged assaults, we have never encouraged private property being vandalized, we have never encouraged government property to be vandalized. We've never encouraged killings. But today the situation is... Now, if we don't question this, being part of democracy, then can you imagine the plight of democracy going forward if this were to be encouraged? I urge the entire media, the national media especially, I also urge various parties who actually constitute democracy. To have a look at these photographs, what are displayed. To have a look at the video clippings which are being displayed. Have a look at them. And then ask yourself, is this what we want from democracy? You have various photographs, photographs. People are being hacked to death where you have photographs displayed, where you would find a corporator running for his life, stabbed multiple times, where you would have various photographs and video clippings displayed. An MP, a member of parliament, touring his own constituency, visits a house of another MP, who's also stationed in the same constituency, his house being get out, stones pelted, his cars demolished, 
his cars being burnt. These kind of video clippings and these kind of photographs are also being displayed. You would find various photographs where such ghastly incidents take place and where cops are mute spectators. In fact, the worst of thing is the cops foister false cases on the victims rather than sympathize with them. This is the plight of democracy. I urge the entire media and as the day goes by, various leaders from various political parties whom we had requested to come over here to actually look at this protest, to actually look at this photo gallery protest which has been organized, displaying these photographs, displaying these video clippings, to so please have a look at it and raise your voice. Because if we in democracy do not do this, then none can protect democracy. We would have to question, we would have to question the plight of democracy. If this were to be encouraged, what would be the plight of democracy going further? I request all of you to have a look at it. Question yourself, introspect yourself. This is my humble request to the entire national media, to the entire parties who actually form democracy in the parliament. Please raise their voice against such kind of ghastly incidents which took place in the state of Andhra Pradesh. Thank you. Ma'am, one second, ma'am, one second, ma'am. Ma'am, please don't divert these topics. These are various acts of heinous acts. Please go have a look at this photograph. I mean, if you consider yourself to be in those if, if yourself to be in that situation. Please make yourself party to it. Would you like somebody just come on to you, come on to your house, come over to your house, destroy your house property, come on to you, kill you? Would you like it? Please have a look at those photographs before you can even comment or anything on deviating this topic into something else. Today, please be saviors of democracy. Have a look at these photographs. Have a look at these video clippings before you can make a, before you can divert this topic into something else. I urge you, please have a look at them before you can speak of anything else.